Hey everyone and welcome back and this video is going to be a very very quick look at screens and we're going to look at a way of displaying our calendar on the screen but not in the text box at the bottom. If we wanted to keep the text box for speech only then we wouldn't want to put the time in there all the time obviously so we want to put it somewhere else on the screen. Now, if you're creating a linear game which doesn't have a funky user interface or anything like that, all you want is for the date and time to be displayed at the top whilst other things happening down below. Then you're obviously going to want to um, keep it on the screen while the people are talking, while the text is going on. So the best way to do that is to use screen language and to actually adjust what is known as the say screen. So before we do anything else, what I've done here is I've removed the text block here that said originally uh, the output var variable and I just changed it to say click to demonstrate what we're talking about. And now what we want to do is to go into our screens.rpy file and you're going to want to find the screen say who what. Now as you can see, I've already input my code, but I'm going to remove that now. And this is what you will see when you open up your screens to RPY and you come down to where it says screen say. And you'll notice that it opens two windows. It opens the window which contains the whole entirety of what's displayed on the screen. And then if who is not none. So if somebody is saying something, it opens up a window called the name box and it types in who that person is. And then if there is nobody saying it, then obviously the nameplate is, doesn't exist and it just types in what they are saying inside that window. And this is in screen code rather than in RenPy native code, which is, it's still RenPy, but it's a very, very slightly different thing. So what we need to do is we want to create a black bar at the top, which displays our date and time all, all the time whilst whatever else is happening in the text box below. So the first thing we need to do is create a frame. And we add a uh, colon to say that, that whatever follows inside the indent is going to be contained within the frame. What we do want to do is assign it some properties. So the first thing we want to do is say X pos, which is the X position, the position along the X axis, and we want it to be zero. And we also want the Y position to be zero. So we want it to be in the top left hand corner. Now we need to set the, the size. So we need to say the minimum value that this X is going to be is going to be 1920. We want it to fill the entire width of the screen. And we also want the Y minimum value. And we want, let's just say 75. So we don't want it to be any smaller than 75, but we also don't want it to be any bigger than 75 pixels. So, you know, regardless of what we put in it now, we do not want that to be any smaller or any bigger than 75. So it'll be a fixed 1920 by 75 pixel box. And the next thing we want to do is simply input our text. Now, unlike using the say screen for putting out dialogue, we need to actually tell RemPy that what's going to be in here is going to be text. Then we use speech marks, the same as we would in any other place. And then we use our square brackets and we type in output. And we're going to put a space in there. And we're going to put a space in there so that we can see that this is our code. Now let's have a look and see if that works. We run the code, we hit start. And as you can see, our time is now placed at the top there. And when we click along, changes but I'm not happy with that I don't like where that is so we're going to remove uh, that or we're going to say x align 0.5 now this is a tuple this is a variable so 0 is the left hand side 1 is the right hand side and then any variable that we put in any value that we put in in the uh, will change where it is in in that uh, scale so 0 0.5 is center aligned so let's see if that has changed it. And there you go, center aligned, like so. 
Now what we can also do is we can actually change this so that we can actually put in uh, HBox and um, input the text inside that. And what we've basically done is we've created a frame which is a small window that's 75 pixels deep by 1920 pixels wide. But what if we wanted to put multiple elements within that frame? We could create an H box, which is a box in which all of the elements are lined up horizontally, or we could create a V box where all the elements within it are lined up vertically. And then we can actually put horizontal boxes inside vertical boxes and so on and so forth. So we could say um, if we wanted to create this as a V box, and then we could put an H box inside it with the text, and then another line of text, and then we could create a new horizontal box uh, outside of that so it's very clever that you can compartmentalize all of your elements because it makes com customizing and styling the text very easy but we're not going to do that for now because that's uh, you know a little bit more advanced um, than what we need for this all we need is text to align in the middle of our frame on the save screen so now whenever we click the mouse the time will still advance by 30 minutes but we can actually have dialogue now appearing in our say screen because the time will always appear at the top. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.